This is a turbine. It can spin crazy fast, but has very little torque. I decided this would be the perfect excuse to design a 3D printed transmission, so I did. <laughs> The turbine that I'm building this transmission for was 3D printed. It's a simplistic design and it fits in my hand pretty easily for a size reference. To make the transmission and all of its small little gears and stuff, it makes the most sense to 3D print these as well. I started this project by opening up Onshape and designing a housing for all of the mechanical components. I understood throughout this design process that tolerances become less accurate as you design smaller parts with 3D printing. So I needed to try and get the parts as small as possible without compromising their performance. Here's a view of roughly how all of the parts of this transmission will assemble. To break this down really quickly, this gear is attached to the turbine shaft, which spins this gear which is three times as large. That gear is fixed to this shaft, same as these two gears here. The gears along this bottom shaft mesh with gears which freely rotate around this upper shaft. This spline thing in the middle is permanently attached to the upper shaft, and when the coupler thing slides onto the splines of one of the upper gears, it binds into the output shaft. This will make more sense once the whole thing is printed. Anyways, I exported all the finished files and then started printing. And here are the parts. I went through two different versions of the housing, trying to find better tolerances, and this is the final design. This transmission required a whole lot of bearings. Luckily, I had some from previous projects, so I grabbed my 3D printed RC car and began to strip it down. With everything prepared, I next needed to mark the transmission shafts and cut them down to size. Here you can see the sliding coupler mechanism and how it binds the gears to the shaft. I then glued this spline section on permanently to lock it in place. Things were working surprisingly well. The gears meshed fluidly and the coupler slid back and forth and binded pretty smoothly. The next step to this project is going to be designing a mechanism to shift the transmission. This is what I came up with, a super simple sliding device that sits on top of the transmission housing. This thing that looks like a fork will push the coupler back and forth. Here's the setup with the transmission. This is going to be the first test of this thing. There is first gear right here, which is an initial reduction in there of one to three. And then this is another one to three. And then, of course, this is neutral right here. This can turn freely. Okay, and then we have this vacuum hooked up to it right here. And I'm going to test it without using the Venturi effect. And then I'm going to test it with it. These gears in here are definitely rubbing the wrong way a little bit, but I'm hoping that if I just let it sit and run for a really long time that they'll smooth each other out. So I'm gonna fire it up now. Again, but I put a little piece of tape on the end so you can visualize um, how the gears are gonna make this thing spin. And also I put this piece of tape over here so now it will have the venturi effect and we'll see how that works. When shifting into second there, seriously cannot be on the throttle because this thing, obviously it doesn't have um, a clutch and it doesn't have a pressure plate in here where this thing can like merge a lot easier. So you can see that those gears actually already got uh, super warm. Um, also, you can see right here where this was rubbing, you see how that changed colors. That's because this filament is heat sensitive. 
And this is a coincidence that I printed these things like that, but that actually really helps to visualize all these things. Um, but you saw when it was in neutral, I could hold this thing and it was just like, it's kind of like having your car and drive, but you're not actually hitting the accelerator pedal, you know? It's like a, a loose forward, like slipping forwards kind of thing, but it can be stopped easily. First gear had a lot of torque, that was super easy to shift into, and second gear was a problem. But yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna hook this thing back up and I'm just gonna let it run for a while and get these gears a little more smoothed out. Also, I think I'm gonna put another piece of tape on this side to really try to visualize the speed difference between the two. So what exactly is my plan for all of this? Well, the plan is to buy an RC EDF and slap it on the end of the turbine and put this thing in an RC car. Now, the first thing that you're probably thinking is, that is gonna be so incredibly inefficient. I know, so why am I doing it? Because I wanna make a car with an engine that shifts gears and makes loud turbine noises. That is the only reason. That said, subscribe and turn on notifications to see what happens, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>